Hello coders, Darren here, and we are going to be continuing the mechanym for Unity 3D series where we're animating objects without writing too much code. So let's continue in this series by uh, animating some menus. So I'm going to start off by uh, sort of building up the menu elements that we're going to need. I'll go ahead and add a, uh, a link to the time where we are actually animating for anybody who doesn't want to want to uh, see the setup. But for those who do want to see the setup, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to create a new UI image uh, that's going to automatically create a canvas for me. And I want to go ahead and set some of these properties on the canvas uh, that I'm used to doing. So scaling with screen, uh, screen size is important. I'm going to set the image to be the background and I'll go ahead and open up the rec transform, click alt shift to make sure that that stays the size of my screen size. I'm going to add a button onto this now. So we need a button, of course, to open up the menu that we're going to be animating in. And I'll just do some things on this button to make it look a little bit nicer instead of having the default skins on there. I'll change the color a little bit. And then of course, change that text color. And the button should say open because when we click that button, we want it to actually open up the menu with that nice animation that we're gonna make. So now we need to create the menu page. I'm going to create empty and I'm going to define the size or the region of this page like this. And I'll go ahead and drag out my anchors. I do this for all of my UI elements. I need to do that for my button as well. This just ensures that no matter what resolution I'm on. So if I go ahead and uh, go to my game and I change my aspect to 5.4 or 9.16, that button is always going to stay on screen. So that's kind of what I'm doing with those anchors there. Okay, so we have the empty game object page. I'm going to call this menu page since that is going to, to be defining the page. And in that page, I'm going to have a background element. So I can hold Alt Shift to make that background element the size of my menu page. I'll make that black. And then I'll go ahead and add a text for page title. So just like that, I'll drag the anchors out. So this process can take a little bit of time. I'm trying to make this page as simple as possible. We're just going to have a page title and a description. So not too much to add and then we can actually get into animating this thing. Okay, let me add the description now. And that will be taking up a lot of real estate on this menu page. I'll set the max font size to 20 for this. Then I'll add some uh, lorem ipsum to actually give it some content there. Got that from a generator online. And I think that we're just about ready to get started. So I'm going to rename these things so they don't look foreign whenever I'm actually clicking them to, to change values on them when we're setting up the animations. So we have a couple choices with how we want this to be animated in. And I think what I want is for it to start off on the right side and just sort of come in like this. And as it's coming in, it's going to be fading in. So uh, to fade all of the elements on here, I'm going to add a canvas group. And when I do that, we can just modify this alpha value and that's going to change the alpha of every child of the menu page. So anything that has an alpha component will be affected by this alpha variable. Um, now we can actually have independent alpha values as well. So I actually want my description text to fade in on its own. So what I'm going to do is uh, have something like this where the page comes in, everything fades in except for the text, except for the description text. And then after everything is settled, we'll actually just smoothly fade in the description text like that. Uh, of course, this is something that is completely optional. And uh, you guys can choose to animate your page however you want. Uh, if you follow this tutorial, you can pretty much do whatever you want with your mini page. So at this point, I think we can actually add the menu controller, uh, the animation controller. So let's go ahead and click create on our animation panel. And the name of this animation is going to be entry, or we can just call it open. But I think I'll call it entry. Uh, so we'll have an entry and exit animation. In this tutorial, we'll just be doing an entry uh, animation because the exit animation requires a little bit more from the animation API programmatically speaking and we'll get to that in the next tutorial so all we're gonna be worried about is animating this guy in 
so first thing I want to do is make sure I hit that record button. So all of my changes will be uh, made and recorded into my dope sheet for my animation. So like I said, I want my description text to have an alpha of zero. And then I'll go ahead and make sure that my menu page, my entire menu page has an alpha of zero as well. And then I'm going to move my rec transform off screen like this. And this is going to represent the state of the zeroth frame of this animation. See that we have the canvas group alpha, the anchored, anchored position, and the text the description text alpha uh, all being recorded here at the zeroth frame, which is which is exactly what we wanted. So I want this to last a little bit under a second. What I'm going to do is go to the 30th frame, add some keys here. And at the 30th frame, I want the menu page to be moved into place and I want that menu page alpha uh, to be fully opaque. So I'm going to move that over here. I'm going to set the alpha to one. And this is what I want the menu page to look like at the 30th frame. Now, at the 40th, or 45th frame, we'll say, we will actually move this description color uh, up to a value of one. So I'll start that at zero at the 30th frame and create some new keys at the 45th frame. And then I'll just modify the description text like that. So now if we simulate this, this is what our animation is going to look like. We bring the page in and then we bring the text in. Okay, so pretty simple stuff. I'm going to stop that record button. Now we need to create a menu controller that's going to actually utilize this button to bring the page in with that animation. So let's go ahead and create a C-sharp script. Call this menu controller. That looks good. Open that up. And we need to be using unityengine.ui because I want to actually uh, take that button text and change that from open to close whenever we actually click open. So when the page is in the screen, uh, it should say close. And when it's not in the screen, the buttons should say open. So we need to modify that text. So we're going to have a public reference to the game object for the menu page, public game object menu page. We'll also have a public uh, text for our button text. So this menu page, the way we're going to bring it in is just by setting it to be active. It's the simplest way to do this. Uh, so we're going to have a public function that our button is going to activate called open page. And this is just going to say menu page dot set active true. Uh, so on enable our animator controller is here. Let's go back to uh, unity to take a look at that really quickly. So our animator controller for a page uh, is going to have the entry and that's going to go straight to the entry animation here. So entry is basically called, you can think of it as being called on start or awake. So right whenever this, uh, actually a better way to think of it, uh, a better way to think of this is it's being called on, on enable. So anytime you call set active true, whenever the game object is not active, this entry gets called and we are going to enter the entry animation because what we're going to be doing is just setting this page to be active and inactive. So when it gets set active, we're always going to be going to this entry animation. So the only other thing we need to do from code is say button text dot text is equal to close now. Because after we hit open, we need this button text to toggle and say close. So from Unity, the only thing left to do is to wire up this button uh, and actually set up our menu controller uh, uh, object fields. So I'm adding the menu controller to my canvas object and I'm going to drag in the menu page right here. My menu page is going to be inactive, so I'll do that. And we also need the button text. So let me grab the button text like that. Okay, so my menu page is going to start off as inactive. When we set that active, it should start that entry animation. Now let's wire up our button. We can go click on our button and go to our on click events, uh, add something to the list and drag in the canvas or the menu controller onto that field. Now we can go and search for the function open page. Okay, so now whenever that button is clicked, the open page function we just created will get called and start the entry animation for that uh, page. So let's press play and this should work. Perfect. Uh, now the only problem I see obviously is that it's looping. So that's one thing I always forget to do. Let's click on our entry animation and set loop time to false and do this again. So open. 
we can see that the button turns to close and the page comes in animating as we expected it to. So that's going to end this tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to uh, show you how to deactivate this page and have it uh, finish its exit animation before it actually deactivates. So look out for that. But thanks for watching. If you have ideas for what we can do with Mechanim, leave those in the comment section. Uh, you know, throw some challenges, some things that you guys have trouble with or are confused about how to do, and we will try to tackle those in these tutorials. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.